afternoon. My name is Ricky Simmons, and my presentation is on the Great Depression and the New Deal. So with that being said, let's jump on into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is the agenda. So I'm going to go over a brief introduction, um, and then we're going to talk about the causes of the Great Depression, as well as the social impact of the Great Depression, uh, the political response that was received, criticisms and controversies surrounding the New Deal, and legacies and long-term effects, and then we will talk through the conclusion. All right, so um, yeah, so the Great Depression, you know, uh, impacted by economic factors such as the stock market crash of 1929, many different banking failures. Um, it was a huge social impact uh, from the Great Depression due to unemployment and poverty and homelessness. Um, so yeah, and there was also uh, a political response at the New Deal, as mentioned, um, in, in that was largely due to uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt's uh, presidency goals as he came in. He had many different uh, initiatives related to the New Deal. So we're going to get into that as well. And then also talk about some criticisms and controversies, uh, as well as some long-term uh, lasting effects that have happened because of the Great Depression. Causes of the Great Depression. So there were economic factors. The Great Depression was precipitated by several economic factors, notably overproduction and uneven distribution of wealth and excessive reliance on credit. Overproduction in agriculture and manufacturing led to a surplus of goods, uh, which decreased prices and profits, destabilizing farmers and businesses. The, uh, the wealth gap meant that while the rich accumulated significant savings, the majority of Americans could not afford to buy the goods that were produced uh, this uh, weakened the consumer demand. Lastly, the easy credit of the 1920s encouraged both businesses and individuals to accumulate debt, making the economy very vulnerable. Then we have the stock market crash of 1929. So on October 29, 1929, known as Black Tuesday, the stock market lost nearly 12% of its value in a single day, marking the onset of the Great Depression. This crash did not cause the Great Depression by itself, but it acted as a catalyst that exposed the underlying economic instability. It triggered a chain reaction where businesses lost their capital, uh, consumer confidence plummeted, and banks called in loans, leading to bankruptcies and mass unemployment. And then we also have the banking failures. So in the 1930s, we witness a massive wave of bank failures, with over 9,000 banks closing by 1933. These failures were partly due to banks investing depositors' funds into the stock market, leading to losses, which uh, happened when the market crashed. And then we also had international trade issues. International trade plummeted during the Great Depression, uh, exacerbated by uh, protectionist policies such as the 1930 Smoot-Hawley tariff, which imposed steep tariffs on thousands of imported goods. This led to uh, retaliatory tariffs from other countries, further reducing global trade. As countries struggled to protect their domestic industries, international economic cooperation broke down, worsening the global depression. The social impacts of the Great Depression so unemployment and poverty uh, were, were very, very huge during this time. At the peak of the Great Depression in 1933, the U.S. unemployment rate reached 25 percent, with over 15 million Americans out of work. The widespread unemployment led to severe poverty as many families lost their primary means of support. This, in turn, also uh, led to homelessness and migration. Economic hardship forced many out of their homes, leading to a rise of shanty towns. Um, named as Hoovervilles after President Hoover. Additionally, the Dust Bowl, a severe drought in the Midwest, Farm Belt, displaced thousands of Okies who migrated westward to California and other states that were seeking labor. 
In addition to this, there was also psychological impact on individuals and families. The psychological toll of the Great Depression was immense, marked by stress, anxiety, and despair. Families were under significant strain, with parents unable to provide for their children. The loss of jobs and homes also led to a loss of identity and purpose for many, contributing to widespread mental health issues. The political response, also known as the New Deal. So Franklin D. Roosevelt took office in 1933 during the depths of the Great Depression, promising a New Deal for Americans. His administration swiftly enacted a series of programs aimed at addressing the dire economic conditions. Uh, goals and objectives of New Deal programs uh, were they included three primary goals. Relief for the unemployed and poor, recovery of the economy to normal levels, and reform the financial system to prevent a repeat depression. These objectives sought to stabilize the economy and provide security to Americans. Now, key initiatives of the New Deal included the CCC, which is the Civilian Conservation Corps. Uh, this provided jobs in the uh, natural resource conservation. Uh, the work the Works Progress Administration, the WPA, uh, which is a funded public works that uh, employ those out of work, and the Social Security Act, which established a system of old age benefits and unemployment insurance. Criticisms and controversies surrounding the New Deal. Many conservatives and business leaders criticized the New Deal for expanding government too far arguing it was anti-ethical to free market principles and led to inefficient government intervention. There was also criticism from the political left. From the left, the criticism was that the New Deal did not go far enough to address systematic inequalities and fundamentally alter the economic disparities in American society. So there was also concerns about the impact on the deficit spending and national debt, the New Deal significantly increased deficit spending and national debt, raising concerns about the long-term economic implications, such as fiscal policies. Legacy and long-term effects. In the short term, the New Deal programs provided critical relief and helped stabilize the U.S. economy. The full recovery was not achieved until World War II, significantly uh, boosting industrial production. Uh, the long-term effects on government policy and social welfare programs um, by the New Deal. The New Deal fundamentally changed American government policy, establishing a precedent for federal intervention in the economy and laying the foundations for modern social welfare programs. The evaluation of the New Deal's success. So the success of the New Deal remains a topic of debate. Some argue it was essential for restoring the American economy and protecting its people, while others contend it extended the duration of the Great Depression. In conclusion, this presentation has explored the causes, impacts, and responses to the Great Depression, focusing on the New Deal's role in American history. The era's legacy is evident in today's economic policies and social safety nets, demonstrating its lasting significance in shaping government actions and social expectations. The Great Depression and the New Deal not only redefined the role of the government, but also left an incredible mark on the American collective consciousness, reminding us of the resilience needed to overcome a severe crisis. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I um, also have my peer-sided sources on the last slide. So thank you so much for your time.